All right, guys, I had an idea for a video for a while now, and I didn't get around to make it, so I guess today's as good as any. Um, I like to talk a little bit about uh, lawn and garden equipment, and uh, specifically buying it at a uh, super store, hardware store like a Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, uh, anywhere they sell lawnmowers. Um, for those of you that watch my channel, you know by now that uh, I worked at an equipment dealer for 10 years. I'll try to stop moving around so much. I noticed in my videos I'm always moving the camera like crazy. I'm probably making people seasick. Um, anyway, I worked there and uh, worked on farm equipment as well as lawn and garden. Uh, it all depended on what uh, what need who needed the most help. Uh, it would vary between the two, which uh, which side of the shop was busier, lawn and garden or farm. Uh, and I was kind of the guy that could go back and forth and do either or. So. Uh, <clears throat> Since we were a dealer, we were Cub Cadet dealer and Toro and all the, there was a whole bunch. It all falls under MTD. Um, we'd have a lot of lawnmowers come in that would have the sticker on uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever they bought it. Um, and if you have an issue with your mower, uh, a lot of times Lowe's will take it back. But what they'll also do is refer you to your local dealer for warranty work. And that was us. So a lot of these Lowe's, uh, we used to call them Lowe's specials. And uh, <laughs> now I don't mean to pick on Lowe's. I don't mean to pick on Home Depot or Tractor Supply or anywhere that sells lawnmowers. But what we found was people would buy lawnmowers at these big uh, retailers uh, because they were cheaper than getting them from a dealer like ours. Um, we have a little bit, uh, we're, we're not as large as some of these big uh, these big companies and they can buy quantity and they get a better discount you know the whole deal it's the whole story of America um, so we were a little more expensive and any warranty work that we had to deal with uh, it was usually coming from these places so um, and I don't mean to bash that anybody that works for Lowe's or Home Depot or any of these places um, and I, it might not be the case for all of them but this was our experience uh, what are you getting when you're buying a mower from a place like that versus a dealership when you go to a dealer? Well, we would get the new lawn mowers would come in on crates. They'd be all crated up. They'd be sitting on a crate. Uh, they'd have plastic over them, crates, uh, plastic up over the whole mower. And uh, they'd have them stacked up three high or so in the semi. And we'd unload them. Um, we had a storage shed to put them all in. And... Uh, as we needed them, we'd get them out of the crate and do what we called setting them up. We had a third, I forget, I, I don't have the paper anymore. It was a 30 or 40 point checklist that we had to go through uh, to set up the mowers before we would offer them for sale. And a lot of these uh, warranty mowers coming in from Lowe's and all these other places, uh, being that we set up so many, I mean, we, we sold quantity, we sold pretty many. Uh, for a, a, a smaller dealership um, But we could tell the difference right away um, And if you bought one from one of these places, it's fine a lot of this stuff you can do yourself to try to get the most out of it um, And I don't know like I said I don't know what their policy is in the store for setting up these mowers or what they're checking. I have no idea I'm just talking from uh, my experience with uh, their uh, Equipment that came in with their stickers on anyway for some reason, the rear tires on all the new mowers when they came out of the crate and they do this at the factory, some of these rear tires had 30, 35 pounds of air in them. Uh, and we'd see that when the uh, Lowe's mowers would come in or uh, Home Depot mowers. Uh, the rear tires were just way over inflated. You could see when people were mowing with them, they were only running on about that much tread. Most times the key with all ours, we'd only have 10, eight to 10 pounds of air in your rear tires. You want the whole tire touching the ground, not just the center. Uh, it's, it's easy enough to do yourself. We had to let air out of the, the rear tires and as well as the front tires. The uh, front tires were way over inflated. There'd be 20, 20 to 25 pounds in the front tires. So that's the thing from the factory. I don't know if they just don't want them to go flat or what. So that's, that was the first step. Second step, we would, on the decks, and yeah, that doesn't have front wheels. This one has the front wheels on the deck. 
in the crates, and I think they do it on purpose when they put it in the crates, they'll put those wheels all the way in the top adjustment hole. They're all the way up as high as they'll go, and I think that's uh, for shipping purposes in the crates. Um, and if you don't have those wheels set to the right height, your deck can go down too far, you're gonna be scalping grass and everything else. So that would be number two. Uh, move your wheels down uh, to the right setting. Uh, we used to move them down, I don't know if it was one or two holes uh, so that it would be in the right spot. Number three was level the deck. Most decks aren't level. You have an adjuster in the front uh, that takes up slack. It's just, Most of them it's just one nut, some of it's two that you can adjust the height. You want your deck level. You don't want it. Most of them, when they came out of the crate, they were pitched down. They were like that. I don't know if they don't level them at the factory. Uh, so you want your deck to be level. Once the wheels are in the right holes and they match all, on all four sides, uh, we had a, uh, a little tool that we made just to make it easier for ourselves to make sure that the front of the deck was the same height as the rear of the deck. Um, and again, a lot of these mowers coming from these stores, uh, people bring it in for service. They'd have 30 pound of air in their tires. The uh, blades would be all nicked up from scalping the yard because the wheels were too high and the decks weren't near level. Um, I'm pretty sure they might. Uh, they might. I, I can't tell for sure. Uh, as far as greasing the spindles on your deck, uh, I think they do grease them at the factory. You could see a little bit, um, but it was nowhere near enough for me. Uh, and I wasn't happy with it. We would grease the deck as well as the whole machine. The front axles didn't look like they were always greased from the factory. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. I guess it depends whether it was a Monday morning or a Friday morning. <laughs> so we would uh, grease the whole mower, uh, check the oil. Sometimes the oil would be way over full or too low. And sometimes it would have leaks. Uh, we had a mower come in for warranty. It was leaking oil. And all it was was the... Uh, Drain plug wasn't tight. So, and that's something I don't think to, if they check it at the factory, I don't know. You never know the circumstances. And these things are getting shipped all over the country. You never know what's what's happening. Um, most times they come to us with the batteries unhooked. We'd hook up the batteries. Uh, what else? What else? Trying to think all that we'd have to do. Uh, like I say, it was a 30 point uh, inspection. Uh, we'd have to check all the belts. Uh, the toe-in, that was another thing. Uh, a lot of times, the front wheels, you'd have, we'd always check the toe-in to make sure they're both tracking straight. Uh, a lot of times, you'd have one wheel dished out, one wheel dished in. We'd measure that and set that. And there were very few mowers just out of the crate that were running true and straight and ready to go. It was very few. So that was another thing. And again, these mowers would come in that people bought elsewhere and they weren't uh, running straight, you're gonna end up wearing one of your tires out. So we, we took care of a lot of these issues um, when it came in for service, just so if they were gonna be a return customer, we wanted to leave a good impression on the product, no matter where they bought it. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I think I covered it. Well, if, if it had hydraulic oil, we checked that. The zero turns, it was a little more intensive to set up because uh, you have your hydro adjustment, your neutral adjustment. Uh, that was another thing that wasn't, sometimes the uh, hydro pedal, depending on where it was set, it wasn't in the right spot. Um, we'd address that. Uh, I mean, basically, it, you have a mechanic going over your mower, checking it out to make sure everything works on it. We've had them already that the front, one of the front headlights was blown out, and that could do just because of shipping. So if somebody buys a new mower and already right out of the <laughs> right out of the box one of the lights isn't working. Uh, it doesn't leave a good impression. So and like I said, not to pick on any of these companies. If you work at one of them places, uh, uh, this was just my experience as a uh, equipment dealer. If you do have one of these lawn mowers that you were able to get cheaper, I'm not condemning that. That's good. That uh, I mean I'm not against saving any kind of money. Uh, but check those things. Uh, it, your mower is going to last a lot longer and it's going to mow a lot nicer. Um, <coughs> so, and uh, maintenance. <laughs> Maintain your mower. <laughs> this is a 1987. And I wish it had an hour meter because we had this mower for, for so long now. And it mowed so much grass between two farms. Um, 
only has a 38 inch deck it's the original deck it's still i had to weld some pieces on here and there but it's still the original deck since 1987 uh, still the original engine now uh, it does use a little oil but uh still going strong after all these years and that's just regular maintenance um you don't uh, don't really need to buy a mower every two three years like some people do but uh, hey if you want if that's something you <laughs> something you like to do that's fine if you don't want to maintain them but uh this uh, mower here certainly doesn't owe us anything. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate all the views, the comments, uh, and so on, and uh, the subscribers. So, thanks again.